Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily include user uploaded images directly in the core and universal Gravity PDF templates. Uh, for this example we're going to use the employment application form downloaded from Gravity Forms template library and it's got the standard fields, name, contact info, position you're applying for, about you. Um, now where the name field is, uh, an email address, uh, and contact info. Um, if we add a upload field here and ask them to add their, um, add the photo, add the headshot, uh, it's going to be displayed as a link. Um, so even if we restrict the file to JPEG or the standard images, PNG, usually be a JPEG for, um, for a headshot. And we can preview that form. Skip over a lot of these. And, uh, Select an image, selected one of our images, we'll hit next, uh, again we'll skip over that and skip over that. Let's have a look, this particular form has been pre-configured uh, and we have personal information, then we've got the, the file name here. Now, the reason it shows up as a link all the time is because um, basically the file upload field doesn't do any sort of compression on the uploaded images. Um, and by default, it's very easy to allow users to upload um, 5 to 10 megabyte images. Um, and if you start trying to include those in the PDFs, um, you can basically break the whole the whole process. It'll, it'll run out of RAM uh, or WordPress memory rather, cause fatal errors. Um, so in the interest of um, compatibility, maximum compatibility, uh, we don't have the facility or we don't display images in the, in the PDF by default. Um, but there is a, an extension um, called Image Hopper um, that we also develop uh, that can be used and it solves, solves those resource problems provided that you set some, some um, sane defaults. So we're going to do that same process now. Uh, we'll go to our form editor. Uh, we'll leave that file upload field there. We'll add in an image hopper field. We've already installed the image hopper plugin. I'm going to select this now. Um, very similar to the file upload field, but we don't need to configure the file type because it only allows images to be uploaded. Um, and the key here is to make sure the downscale image option is used. Um, 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels is a good um, downscale uh, option. And for the image quality, we might bump this down a little bit from um, 90 to, to 75. And we'll make this a required field. And hit update. Now, another benefit of using Image Hopper is if the photo is taken on mobile, a lot of times the, the mobile phone is turned, rotated, uh, might be upside down when the photo is taken. Um, and if you try to display those uploaded images from the file upload field, they would, they would um, be rotated the wrong way. They wouldn't be pointing upwards um, because the PDF engine doesn't read the EXIF uh, metadata attached to that image, which, which um, tells, tells you how to rotate the image the right way. But um, Image Hopper ha handles all that automatically, so the, the image is auto-rotated.
Um, another good benefit is that the images are transformed and compressed directly in the browser. Um, so uh, when you upload it, it's already compressed. So the upload is going to go faster for the user. Um, your server's not doing all that work doing the compression. Um, and and everything's handled beforehand um, before it hits the server. So a lot less load, uh, less resources used, much less likely to be problems generating the PDF. And last, let's add in a name. We'll just go ahead and add an image. These are some of my uh, family, family photos. Um, you see it's a much nicer interface too. If I did the same thing on the file upload, I've just got this name, the trash icon. Here I've got this nice um, preview of the image and I can go ahead and delete it if I want. Um, and you can see it's already, already been uploaded. Um, we'll hit next. Next and we'll submit that. And the PDF will automatically display that file as an image. Um, so you can see we've got the file upload field here with the um, link. And then we've got the, uh, the uploaded image um, in the PDF. Uh, if we have a look at the, um, the file info, I'll just bring up Inspector here and we'll have a look at the network data. I just might need to refresh because that was cached. So that file was um was compressed to uh, 396 kilobytes from the original file size. Um, if I have a, a look, my pictures was, uh, that one was three and a half megabytes. Um, so significantly reduced just by downscaling and adjusting the quality. If we want to reduce it further, we could um, decrease the image size. Um, so it's, it's not so large. Um, and we could also reduce the quality. Uh, so I might decide that, you know what, uh, 400 kilobytes for that image um, is still too big. I'm going to go in, uh, edit that, those settings. So we might downscale that further to, to 600 pixels each. And we'll, we'll adjust the quality um, down to 70. Because it's smaller, adjusting that quality down isn't isn't a big problem. Uh, so we'll make sure we pick the right image again, the three and a half megabyte one. Give it a phone number as well. And we'll hit submit. Uh, now, in case you're wondering, we do have a, a page break field. Um, CSS class added here from an earlier video, which is why that extra page was showing. Um, now I removed it, it's, it's brought back up. So uh, that was zoomed in. I'm just going to download this and open it up in my PDF editor so I can see the zoom level. I'll bring that up for you to see. That's 100%. Zoom. Now a lot of times on screen, you're going to see the, the full page like this. So this is what um, the digital uh, version is going to look like for, for people who want a, a good overview on the whole page. So quality-wise, that's, um, that's quite good. And... File size wise, the PDF is only 167 kilobytes. And if we go in and have a look at the um, file itself, 
Yeah, network tab again. We can see it's only 134 kilobytes. So um, big difference when you adjust those downsize options, um, which gonna which is gonna mean reduce quality, but also reduce file size. So reduce bandwidth usage, faster uploads, um, less resources used on the server to generate the PDF, less storage space needed. Um, it's going to be a win-win for everyone involved, and it's and it's just going to be a matter of adjusting those settings to to get the best quality at the smallest file size. That might mean a bit of experimentation on your behalf with um, with the image hopper settings. Um, to to get that, depending on what your use case is. Um, obviously, if you're wanting to um, get these professionally printed, the PDFs professionally printed with the images, um, you don't want to scale those down very much, if at all. Um, but just for the general general use, um, scaling those down is is definitely um, useful for um, for you and your user, so that's uh, that's that's the best way to display images directly in your PDF documents um, using the Image Hopper plugin, um, which integrates seamlessly with Gravity PDF.